the AWL process at Mount Farm. This is the process of aging, weighting, and measuring the length of the fish, then returning them to the pond. We use this beach seine net to catch some fish in. Several people go in the water with the net to surround the fish and get them caught in the net. Once caught, we will then take the fish and put them in a bucket of water. Welcome, Welcome to, to the Rebel, Rebel Express Show. Show. I'm Colin. I'm Adam. And I'm Mr. Capaletti. And today is day one. So I just want to remind everybody that winter sports signups start today. Oh, really? Oh. They do, right here in my room. Right by the door, easily visible? Easily visible, easily accessible. They'll be up all week. All right, I just want to thank everybody for a really successful homecoming, senior weeks last week. Uh, I thought we had a great time. Everyone was really nice, and the weather cooperated uh, for the most part. <laughs> I just want to remind everybody that on October 19th that it will be girls varsity um, volleyball. I don't know why that left my mind. Varsity volleyball senior night on October 19th. Uh, sectionals, this is the last week for football and soccer for sectional play. So they'll begin next week. Volleyball has another week. Cross country still continues with the regular season. So we got a lot going on. The seasons are winding down. Today's Monday, so what happens on Mondays? Do we remember? Oh, well, Tuesday. Tuesday, today the failure list came out today. Oh. So we're really hoping it's first of the week. Nobody's on that failure list. And remind everybody that we want to behave and have a great, hopefully sun-packed day. It's going to be really warm, guys. Have a great show. Thanks. See you later. <clears throat> well, today it's National Leif Erikson Day, too. Who is a Viking? Which brings me to my joke. Which Viking rides around on Halloween to scare people, Adam? Who? The Headless Norseman. Ah. Oh, that's a knee slapper. Today's weather has a high of 79 and a low of 64 with a 10% chance of rain along with 96 humidity. Make sure you drink some water, people. Yeah, make sure you bring water. The cross-country team ran on Saturday at the Southern Tier Classic in Allegheny Limestone. Uh, placing 11th was Haley Kumpf and Meredith Grasso in 71st and Peyton Fry in 73rd. Congratulations, ladies. For the varsity boys, Joey Frederick finished in 35th place and followed by that was Cody Finley in 42nd. And Riley Wilson represented the Mod Squad with the 35th place finish. Congratulations, Rebels. They will run again today against Olean at Barlett Country Club at 415. Come support our Rebels. In other sports news, there's a var girls var uh, varsity soccer game versus Hinsdale at home starting at 5. A girls modified soccer game versus Bolivar at Bolivar at 5. And a boys modified soccer game at Bolivar versus Bolivar at 5. Good luck, Rebels. Winter sports signups start today. As told by Mr. Cap, they are right by the door, easily accessible. High schoolers in ninth period study hall report to the library today. Ooh, yeah, because students taking the PSAT tomorrow should report to the, that room ninth period today for the pre-administration paperwork completion. All high school study halls for tomorrow morning should report to the library as the PSAT will be taking place in room 111. Tweet of the day. Thank you, Mrs. Bold, for your tweet. Homecoming king and queen, I believe that is Lane Finley and Alyssa Bump. Thank you, seniors, from Mr. Cap. Homecoming, ooh, senior night. And thank you, Mr. Capaletti, for your other tweet. Amazing photo. Have a wonderful day, and we'll see, see you, you next, next time, time on the, the Rebel, Rebel Express, Express Show. Show. Stay classy, CR. The AWL process at Mount Farm. This is the process of aging, weighting, and measuring the length of the fish, then returning them to the pond. We use this beach seine net to catch some fish in. Several people go in the water with the net to surround the fish and get